Good morning and welcome to the next in our alumni series. This morning we have a wonderful alumni from uh, Los, the Los Angeles area who's joining us from her advertising agency, 72 and Sunny. So welcome, Katie. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. And it sounds like it's not 72 and Sunny right now today, but... Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Sunny, sunny and chilly. I would say it's probably in the 50s, which I feel like since I've moved to LA, I've definitely gotten uh, soft when it comes to cold weather. So I, okay. if, I, if I were to go back, I would probably be frigid. That's for sure. Yes, you'd be the, the person in your Ugg boots in 50 degree weather, right? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about where you're at right now and a little bit about your history with Drake, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Um, well, I'm Katie. Uh, and I, uh, I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska, actually. I moved to Iowa to go to Drake uh, in 2006. So I'm, I graduated in 2010, which still boggles my mind every time I think about it, not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> but I, I was a double major in marketing and advertising account management. So I was in both the J school and in the business school. Uh, and I, I was actually on uh, the rowing team. Uh, I wrote, I was on Drake Crew, really enjoyed myself there too. But uh, marketing and advertising, I mean, it's obviously been something that's been super important to me since uh, since high school, obviously, or honestly, but uh, it definitely came to uh, fruition more so when I was in college. Um, and then, you know, I continued my path into, uh, into advertising as a professional, uh, working for a small agency in, in Des Moines, Iowa for, uh, for about five years, Flynn Wright, great agency. Uh, and then moved to LA in 2015, uh, and now working at 72 and Sunny as the uh, the brand director on the NFL account. It's pretty rad. Um, I know it's hard to believe it's been 10 years, so that's phenomenal. We're so glad to have you reconnected, right? Yeah. Is it for yeah. our alumni reunion? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, let's tell. Can you tell me a little bit about your position with 72 and Sunny and working on the NFL account? Sure. Um, I actually, uh, so I started at 72 in a, in a senior brand manager role and uh, supporting on the uh, on the pitch team uh, for the account. So we won the business back in 2018 and uh, I've been on the account ever since. And on a day-to-day -day basis as an account person, they call us, uh, I guess my title is brand director, but brand, account, one and the same. Uh, you're essentially the... Uh, the go between uh, between client and agency, and and my role now, I would say, uh, along with being the doer, so the person who is managing projects and, and helping see that through from start to finish, uh, I'm the individual who's very much trying to provide a guiding light uh, to the account, uh, help shape that, help in relation, big uh, build, excuse me, relationships with uh, senior level individuals over at the league. Uh, so it's very much, I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you're talking to clients by way of email, text, phone calls, uh, shoots. We're in a big production um, run right now. We typically have a, a big production, I would say, swell during the summer for a good majority and lead up to kickoff, which uh, took place in, in September. And then now we're very much like in the Q4 realm, getting ready for things like Super Bowl and a handful of other projects. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So is there actually a typical day or is it just crazy different? Uh, typical day, it's, uh, well, it's definitely changed kind of since COVID, um, which has been a little bit different. Uh, but what I've noticed, I mean, we're still managing to create incredible work uh, even by doing so remotely. Uh, so it's not something necessarily that has slowed us down, uh, I would say, but it's definitely, I would say typical day, you're probably in, a handful of meetings, I guess there's no such thing as a typical day, but for the most part, you're in a handful of meetings could range from, um, you know, five to one to five projects. Ultimately, you're kind of bouncing back and forth between uh, different work streams and it's a lot of team communication. So whether you're having an internal creative review with your team or you're going in for a client presentation uh, or you're on a shoot or you're in an edit or you're, uh, you know, preparing for a strategic conversation. Uh, it truly does differ from day to day, um, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds like a lot. <laughs> okay, so what? Let's let's work back those ten years ago, or we'll just, yeah. we'll just say a couple of years ago, because it feels a little bit better, right? Um, did you have any valuable takeaways from your experience at Drake? What are some of the most valuable takeaways you had? Yes, 100%. Uh, I, I would say that the, the primary courses 
that I remember uh, would definitely be Capstone um, with Professor Pizarski. And I remember being on, so our client at the time, because we had the, I don't know if it's still the same now, but we had, um, uh, what was it called? State Farm. And we had to put together the plans book and, and everything. And I remember being, I'm pretty sure my title was marketing director. Um, but I also remember being on the pitch team and it was such a fun experience. I think being with everybody and truly seeing how, uh, you know, a group of people can come together and from all different disciplines and utilize their strengths to build something pretty incredible and pull a pitch together. And that was the first time really that, uh, that I had experienced that. And, uh, I thought it was incredibly invaluable. And I, I mean, Professor Pizarski was awesome. I mean, I, I hope that I can stay in contact with her moving forward. Um, her classes were, I mean, at the time as you enter into your junior, senior years, they're relatively intimate in the sense that you don't have that many people. I mean, that's the benefit of Drake too. So you're working with 11 or so folks. So you get a lot of uh, one-to-one -one communication and um, and that was that was huge. Uh, her guidance was invaluable and uh, yeah, I had, I had a great experience. Yeah, uh, Professor Pisarski has since retired, but she's definitely left her legacy here at Drake, hasn't she? 100%. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so having now reflected a little bit on your time at Drake, is there, if you were to talk to your, say, first, second yourself, and I know you were busy with the rowing team and those kinds of things, yes. what kind of advice would you give to that first or second year, Katie? Sure. Um, I would say uh, have fun um, and definitely try your best to experience as many different types of classes and as many different things as you possibly can uh, in school. And don't sweat that if you feel like you're not, you know, taking it all in necessarily right in your first or second years, that it's not going to be something that you can't tap back into when you do get into the working world. Um, but it's, uh, I think we go in as if I can remember back to my 18 year old self, uh, you're so uh, you're probably nervous. You're probably nervous that you're you're looking to ensure that you're succeeding and uh, doing everything right. Uh, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, and that's okay because that's the best way that you're going to learn. And you're going to learn what you like, and you're going to learn what you don't like, and you're going to interact with people who um, present even you know whether it be professors or, or people that you meet or you you know uh, whatnot. Um, you'll take their either teaching styles or management styles and you kind of adopt them for your own as you as you start to work your way up into, into junior senior levels. So, uh, yeah, I would say just, you know, ride the wave. Ride the wave. Oh, I love it. Like definitely, I, definitely, I, I thought about that as soon as I said it. I'm like, wow, Katie, goodness. <laughs> I love it. I love it. OK, so what's next for Katie Martin? Ooh, what's next? Well, um, in the immediate, uh, we're very much getting ready for uh, Super Bowl, so things are a little nutty. Um, but I would say future forward, I love 72, and I love the work that I'm doing. Advertising, I've, I've definitely contemplated multiple on multiple occasions. Uh, you know, is this something that I want to continue doing? Do I want to stay in the advertising side of things? Do I want to go brand side? And, and I think a lot of people in this profession uh, juggle that and uh, juggle that decision. And I truly love advertising. I can honestly say that. Uh, I love the creative environment. I love the people. And you can bring your business acumen to that, uh, which is what I, I love most. And so I would say I'm just going to continue um, to grow uh, in my current role and beyond uh, and keep having fun. Keep having fun. Oh, I love it. Well, I know it's an extremely busy time and we are so grateful for your time and experience and your advice. And we just couldn't, we are so grateful for um, all of our alumni and the support that you give back to the school and our students. So go Bulldogs and thank you so much again, Katie. We hope to see you on campus here soon and can't wait to hear more about and see more of what you're doing and all the fabulous things. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.